Welcome Leo. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks and what is going on for you. Okay, we're using Nature's Whispers Oracle cards to start with and we're using the Grace cards as well. And our show is in tarot for clarification. Okay, so we'll just give these a little shuffle. If you haven't checked out your activation, Leo, please go and do that, okay? Um, and any other activation that you feel drawn to, go and do those. Okay, let's get started here. Okay, so... First card up here, Leo, we have Breakthrough. So I feel like this has already happened for you, Leo, that you've had some kind of breakthrough um, in the sense of, how do I put this? It's like you've let your authentic self be revealed. And it's almost as though this is such a relief for you. Um, sort of like you've been holding in who you truly are for such a long time. And, um, and it's sort of like the burden of carrying around your authentic self without showing that to anyone, it became really heavy for you and quite the burden, I feel. Um, yeah. We've got three cards come out here. Okay, so I just wonder, Leo, if it's the case that for you, you've, um, you were withholding this truth of who you really are. It, it may not even be the truth of who you really are, but the truth about something, okay, that you held that within, potentially because of a past relationship, okay, um, and it seems like you decided to maybe venture out on your own to discover the truth of who you are, okay? Um, yeah, and it's sort of like you, what you discovered during that time was the fact that you could actually guide your own way with your own internal guidance system you didn't need anyone else to do that for you and it may have been that you were under the impression for a re really long time that you did need someone else to do that for you and you've discovered now that you can do this for yourself um open your heart okay Okay, so this could even be a um, breakthrough that you've had. You may have discovered something about yourself um, that potentially, whether that spoke about who you are as a partner in a relationship or, um, or why it is that you do certain things in particular relationships Okay, doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, could be any relationship of any sort. Um, I feel like, Leo, for some reason you were closing your heart off, okay? Um, and I feel as though... There was something inside of you that told you that this was the way to do things. Um, but what you've actually found. Sorry, let me just stop myself there because I want to explain where I'm actually coming from this. Where I'm coming from with this because it might be easier to decipher what's going on in my mind so I'm seeing this swan lying here with this woman 
okay and the swan is there loving this woman in in the background here you can see this male's face okay it's as though to me it's as though she's dreaming about this male but rather there's a swan there and and let's say you're the swan leo okay and the swan truly believes that this is the swan's place and where it's meant to be is comforting and loving this lady okay but what the swan doesn't realize is that it's actually not the right place for it to be okay the place for it to be is flying okay stretched out look at this up here stretched out using its full potential right now it seems the swan is not using its full potential okay but very um very easy to misunderstand that it could very well be the right place for the swan because the swan is needed here okay so i hope that makes sense for some of you okay so let's have a look more into open your heart for leo please tell me more about open your heart for leo okay okay yep um so there it looks as though there was some sort of new beginning, okay, which has led to your transformation. And it could very well be that, um, this is quite confusing. <laughs> um, it could very well be, because I'm getting a couple of things here. It could be that through a new, be a new beginning led to your transformation, okay, there may have been an ending in there somewhere, okay, but I don't, it's interesting that's come through. What I really feel has happened is this, there's sort of been this walking away from this energy and this, yeah, see, stepping out, stepping out on your own and actually going in your own direction has led to this transformation, okay, as to who you truly are. I um I feel like there's quite an element of having put some faith into yourself, okay, and um really actually believing that you could head in the right direction if you weren't tied up with other people's wants and needs. Hmm. Make a wish. I feel as though for some of you, you have blown on the, the dandelion and you've watched to see where each part of the dandelion lands. It's, it's as though, it's as though you are one of these parts though it's sort of like you've made this wish you've blown on the dandelion and but you are one of these particles here that make up this whole dandelion okay and you've you've allowed the wind to take it and see where it lands instead of instead of actually controlling where that carries you you let the winds take you this is really interesting, Leo. And um, just like the full card, it's like you've just put your complete and utter faith in I want to say the universe, but I feel like more the elements to see where it would carry you. Yeah, anyway, let's have a look at Make-A-Wish. Tell me more about Make-A-Wish for Leo, please. Ooh, conditioning. Interesting, okay, so this could have been to get you out of this conditioning and control. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so that would make sense why you would want to do that, to get out of this conditioning popped up first and then control. I feel like this has been to get out of this. I feel as though with this open your heart here, maybe 
the conditioning and control was by the swan. Okay, maybe it was that um, it looked like a um, a fairy tale idea to be with the swan and float around in the pond forevermore. But what you realise that it was actually it, that wasn't all there was for you to do. It's like that's all the swan wanted to do, but you wanted to get up and fly. And so you decided to go solo at some point and fly. <coughs> which is why I got this from this card. Rather than being controlled and conditioned, it's taken you a really long time to get out of that. And I also feel like, Leo, that for some of you, the controlling and the conditioning <clears throat> has been partially done by yourself. So I'm wondering if you're just working through that process of recognizing that within yourself as to how you actually still control and condition yourself even when outside parties aren't around to do that. So it's as though you've grown up with that or been in some sort of um, ship, relationship, situationship, friendship, romantic relationship, whatever ship you were in. Okay, in that ship, you were controlled and conditioned. And um, now that you've stepped off the ship, it's been, it, it was so drummed into you that you're still doing some of these things without even realizing. So I would say to you, Leo, to become really conscious of, of what you're doing and why it is that you're doing that. Okay, why, why do you have some beliefs? Question everything. Why do you believe in this or that? Or the other thing, what is it about these things that are still causing you to believe in what it is that you believe in? You know, that may serve you. It may be fine. That's not to say that everything um, needs to be eliminated from your life. But just question. Just question it. Why do I believe this? And what purpose is it serving me? And was that actually a belief that someone else um, lay upon me? that I'm still carrying around, that I no longer need to. And, and if I was going to change that belief, what would my new belief be? Okay. Higher ground. Okay, this is really cool. Look, I feel like the dandelion petal. I don't know what dandelion little doodackies are called. Petals? Let's call them petals. I feel like it's transformed into a rose, honestly. It's as though it's broken away from the dandelion and it's turned into a rose. Yes, Leo. And I feel like this is you. It's like this conditioning, right? As you came away from the dandelion and decided to let the elements take you to where you were going to land, in that process, you realise that you are, in fact, not a dandelion petal or a sheep you're a lion yes you are leo you really are the lion <laughs> right you actually are this rose there's so much more to you than what you realize and i feel as though leo it's 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 though you're starting to discover this or you may have just turned your head and gone holy heck this is what i truly am actually really starting to see the the beauty and um and the gift that you have within you there to offer the world i feel like you're starting to see leo how special and truly unique you actually are this is beautiful this is absolutely gorgeous and look here Look here how the this this lion here realizes it's not no longer a sheep and, and the ropes are getting undone. Well would you looky here? Look down here what's here. Floating away from the sheep in the paddock here, right? 
rising up. Oh, I love this, Leo. I love this. Yeah. You're not a sheep. You're a rose. Friendliness. Oh, I love this. And harmony. Oh, my gosh. Leo. Leo, wow. Okay, so... Yeah, see, so I feel like coming to this realization of who you truly are allows you to actually step out into the world as your authentic self, okay? Um, and, and to bloom a tree of these beautiful roses, okay? To, to understand that you're not just a petal on the rose bush. You're, sorry, a petal on the rose. You're not just a petal. Just like with the dandelion card, you know, it's easy to mistake yourself as just the petal because as you float away, this it's a singular thing, right? But in fact, what happens is you are, you are not just a petal on the rose. You are a rose that makes up the whole rose bush, you see. So as you start to discover this about yourself and your importance, of um of your role here on this earth leo you realize that you're the whole blooming tree you're the whole bush you're the whole rose bush right and you have the power to combine with other rose bushes to start creating something new there's this the sense of coming together coming together it's sort of like Okay, I have to put it in the in the analogy of a rose bush, okay? You've got you who is this rose bush, and you've got another rose bush on, over here, and they come together and they mingle to create a whole new rose, okay? They combine. And this is, by the way, the two of cups, okay, in your standard tarot deck, okay? So this is coming together with another to combine your gifts, your ideas, your beliefs, everything, to, to put them all in a pot, stew them up, and voila, see what comes out, okay? I feel like this is something you are preparing for, Leo, okay? And then we have the Harmony card, which is the Ten of Cups. So this, I feel like, Leo, this is what you can achieve, okay? Because... You've, you've started on this new journey here, okay, and made this transformation, dropping the control and the conditioning to end up with this, Leo, like holy heck, seriously, this is pretty amazing, okay, so let's have a look here, potential gateway, oh, I love this, look at this, Leo, where is this path leading you, Leo, um, it's leading you to love, Leo. That's where it's leading you. Love, love with someone else, love of yourself, love in friendships, love in family ships, whatever. It's leading you to love because look at this love heart here in this tree. Would you looky, looky, looky at that? It's leading you somewhere where you only ever dreamed of. Okay, I feel like, and, and this is it, like, making a wish. It's sort of like, this is where it lands you here. This is where it lands you. How amazing. But the thing is, it's not just making a wish, Leo. You create this, right? You create this with your, um, your energy and your vibration, yeah? Very interesting. We have projections and then we have burden. Okay, so this I feel like, Leo, is there could be still along this journey because it's like the friendliness and harmony is what you are heading towards, but there's still some things that need to be worked on during the journey. Okay, and this is protect projections and burdens and I feel as though 
these um, there's still projections happening whether it's from you or someone else projecting onto you or you projecting onto them okay um, I do still feel like there are burdens that you are, ca ha are carrying from other people projecting their stuff onto you okay and these were the other things that I was talking about before that you may not be fully aware of what those are um, but what I also want to say here, Leo, is to be aware of how you might be doing that to other people, okay? And it could be as simple as someone saying something little and you suddenly pull back your energy because of what they've said. And it could be quite innocent from their part but because of an experience that you've had or um, someone else saying the same thing and it meaning something different you may take some sort of offense to that or you may allow that to lay heavy on you because of what you've experienced nothing to do with the other person and where they're coming from at all but it's about you and your experience. So these are things I just wonder, Leo, that you've still yet to sift through. And I do feel like you've made a sub substantial amount of progress, um, but there's still more, okay? And, and these might be a bit trickier for you to actually sift through and find because you have done so much work, okay? Shift your energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, do really feel like this could be a cleansing that is necessary for you to have, Leo, so that you can see things a lot clearer. Okay, a little bit like, I love this because this is just beneath the Make-A-Wish card and they're both blowing. So it really, I see this now as clearing this energy. It's like everything is ready to float. Everything is ready to be released, okay? It, it, it's sort of like there's this ripeness and um, there's this release that needs to happen um, because it's sort of like it's sort of like with this control and conditioning um, card here and even the projections and the burden card there are things that don't serve you and things that you need to be aware of, Leo, so you can let those go, okay? And it doesn't matter how much work you have done, there's still more work to be done. There's always more work to be done, Leo, because all these things get peeled away in layers, okay? And um, maybe even a smidgen of a layer at a time, you know? So it might not even be the whole layer that gets worked through in one time so just be aware of that okay but shifting your energy is necessary um i feel like this is going to to clear something for you and make things a lot easier for you okay have a look on youtube for um, any meditations or anything like that to shift your energy you could you know if you find yourself leo um in a pattern of starting to really feel slumped and heavy by maybe the conditioning and the control, okay, projections and burdens, okay, it, I just wonder if for some of you there's a bit of a cycle that happens for you and you might be great for maybe three days and then for one or two days you're down there, okay, so it's at those times that you need to be aware of what works to shift your energy and help lift you up again, okay, to not allow that to have control of you, okay, so let's have a look at shift your energy, the Leo, tell me more about shift your energy, the Leo, shift your energy for Leo, please tell me more, compromise, compromise, the rebel, oh, I love this, I love that this has come up, yes, so let's start with compromise first though, This is definite stubbornness here, Leo. I actually feel like 
part of this is stubbornness with yourself. <laughs> it's sort of like, no, I said I'd do this, so I'm doing this. And it's it's like actually being flexible with your own self. Um, some of you may feel that if you... How am I going to put this? I hope this makes sense. So it's sort of like you make plans, right? Just yourself with no one else. Okay, you make plans to say, for example, go for a walk along the beach. And then something happens and you think, actually, I prefer to go for a walk along the river. But it's like, no, no, I said I'm going for a walk along the beach. So that's what I'd like to do. Whereas inside of you, you want to go for a walk along the river. But because you've already said I'll go for a walk along the beach, then that's what I must do. Okay, that's a real simple, simple, basic kind of example of um, not being flexible, not, not allowing. Um, I love that, that, that a river came up in that because it really is sort of like hopping on the current and going with the flow, letting the current take you to where you need to go. Okay, did that just rhyme even? Well, check me out. Okay, um, the rebel. Yep, yes, breaking out of these chains, right? Breaking out of these chains, chains, chains. New word for chains, chains. Breaking out of these chains so that you can fly, right? So that you can fly up here and stretch out, you know, spread your wings and really do what it is that you need to do, okay? Um, because, yeah, I've, there's this real sense of you needing to kind of shed your skin right now you need to shed your skin Lee I can't believe the time by the way we almost finished it's gone so fast yeah this there is this real cleansing of your energy okay not just a shift of your energy but this cleansing of your energy okay shed your skin break free go for a fly okay and um and allow yourself to really um Step into who you truly are. <sighs> to actually go and be yourself without thinking about it um, and, and what that looks like and who that is, I feel like this actually is very necessary for you, Leo. Okay. Now, with the grace cards here, we had strength. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Leo. Face to you. Face your fear. Every challenge is a blessing in disguise, a gift that makes us stronger, more conscious, and ultimately more alive. Yeah, I love this. So what is your fear? Is your fear actually stepping out and being who you truly are, Leo, I wonder? <clears throat> Face your fear. Every challenge is a blessing in disguise, a gift that makes us stronger, more conscious, and ultimately more alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, allows us to to not be a rebel in the sense of going against things, but more in the sense of being our authentic self. Okay, illumination. I love this card. Absolutely love it. Okay, believe in the power of grace when we least expect it. A new door will open and the light of grace will illuminate our next step. Yep. I just wonder, is it the case that for some of you, you you're fearing um, what you can't see? And maybe this is where the compromise comes in, you know, to just believe that grace will light the path. OK, and it's sort of like, no, we're not taking another step until the way is lighted. And yet, in order for the way to be lighted, another step needs to be taken. Yeah. OK, so the last card here is pray. I am open and receive, sorry, I am open and receptive to the power of grace in my life now. I ask to be showing clear examples of how this energy is operating in my life. Yep, ask. Honestly, wow, that's so cool. Ask 
to be shown how it's operating in your life and remain aware, remain conscious, okay, um, so that you can actually see how that is happening, Leo. Okay, Leo, I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.